Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode 63 of the video podcast, Me and My Dog and Some Yarn. Today is November 21st, 2015. It's a Saturday, and um, it has been a long week. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm getting over a cold. I came down with a cold Monday night, and today is actually the first day that I have felt pretty good. So, um, you'll have to forgive the frogginess of my voice. Um, I do feel much, much better, Um, but it's just that remnant of frogginess, I guess. Um, So, please bear with me. Yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I have had a busy day. I tried to sleep late. It was the first day I could sleep late in weeks. And I woke up at 6.30 and could not go back to sleep. So I've been up since 7. I finally got out of bed. And I, um, you know, stayed around the house um, this morning while it was raining because the cold front was coming through. And about 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, somewhere in there, I realized, oh my gosh, it is too pretty to be inside. So I called my mom and I said, do you want to get out for a little bit? And she said, yeah, of course. So we got out, um, we ran and got some lunch and then we went to the mall and we went shopping at Dillard's. I was looking for a dress and she was looking for some blouses. So we both found something. And then I got home and decided, you know what, I ought to podcast because I have something to show everybody and I want to mail it off on Monday. So here I am. I'm trying to hurry because Vince had to work late today. He had to work. He works um, once a month on the weekend for month end and this is that weekend and he's on his way home and we're going to go to Cafe Latino for dinner. So I'm super excited about that. It's a little family owned um, restaurant. It's very tiny, um, but the family is from El Salvador and their food is delicious. So I'm looking forward to that. But anyways, let's get on with the show. Um, I am wearing my Apia cowl. I blocked it. You guys have not seen it blocked. And it's just gorgeous. It's out of hedge, um, what is it called? Hedgehog fibers? That's it. Hedgehog fibers. So, um, anyways, I thought you guys might want to see it, um, blocked because it looks much better blocked than it did when I showed it to you last. So we have some new members. I'm going to go over them really quick. I want to welcome you to the group. I'm so glad you joined us. We've got um, Snip and Fool, who is Mary from New Orleans. So welcome. And we have 1267 Needles, and that is Janice from Ontario, Canada. So welcome. And then we have Polly81, who is Paul from uh, California. So welcome, Paul. And then we have S.S. Lee, who is Sharon from Missouri. So welcome um, to all four of you. I'm so glad you joined us. And if you are on, or if you're watching us, on, or if you're watching me, us, Dottie, she's on the floor. Um, if you're watching us on uh, YouTube, Please come over to the Ravelry group and join us because then you'll be eligible for prizes and you can participate in the knit along, crochet alongs, all the different activities that we have. So come and join us. Um, okay, so I have a finished project. Um, this is the Apia cowl, just like I'm wearing, but this one is for Cynthia. And hers is knit out of. Um, Cascade Heritage Sock, and I'm not sure of the color. It's a wine color, and I don't know that you can really... That's more true to color right there. It's a dark wine, and it is just so pretty. She is going to love this. Um, yeah. Her birthday, this wasn't really knit for her birthday, but her birthday is November 7th, and so I'm going to get it in the mail first thing tomorrow. I don't think it's going to make it 
to uh, Amsterdam in time for her birthday. Wasn't really a birthday present anyways. I just thought it would have been nice if it had, you know, delivered on her birthday. But anyways, she will be able to enjoy it this winter and I'm excited to send it to her. So that was my finished project that I had to show you guys. Um, my other projects, I've just got one because I wanted to finish Cynthia's cowl. And I'm knitting on my Desert Vista Dye Works socks. I should have put this on a sock blocker. And I don't have one nearby, so you guys will just have to see it like this. Um, it's my Desert Vista Dye Works November socks. It's a vanilla sock, uh, and I went top down because I really like the German twisted cast on um, for the for the cuff, and I just did the uh, normal heel flap gusset, and then I knit and did the uh, decrease for the toe, and then the Kitchener, Kitchener stitch. This is, the colorway is, that's more true to color, the colorway is Lisa Frank, it's a 1980s colorway by Desert Vista Dye Works. And it's on the sparkly base. I don't can't remember the name of it. I mean the base. Um, the colorway is Lisa Frank. It's neon yellows and greens and pinks and purples, and it's just gorgeous. Um, the other sock I'm working, of course, top down, and I've got probably another one to two inches before I can start the um, the heel flap. That's really all I've been working on. This is a super short podcast. I have been sewing up some bags, and I am going to have a shop update, and I will go ahead and show you two bags that I have finished. You can see that I have more hanging over there at the sewing machine. I have probably three different more, three different more, <laughs> three different um, fabrics other than the two I'm going to show you. Um, the first one is a cute little black, it's black, uh, fabric with Christmas trees and it's got a bunch of gold and I really love it. Of course, this is my new style bag. This is how I think I'm going to do my bags from now on. Um, they're fully lined. They have a handle with a snap. And they're a true drawstring with grain ribbon on each side. And, of course, they have my label inside, which I don't know that you can see. There it is. Um, but I love it. I've got two of these. And then I love, love, love this one. I might have to keep one of these. I'm not sure. Um, I have two of these sewn up, and I have more fabric, so if I can make myself one later, if I want. Um, but this has the white grow grain ribbon. It's the same. It has the little hand. Um, you can put your wrist through it. I like them because you can. I can hang them over the bar in the closet, and so they're up and out of the way. Um, I just love this fabric, though. Isn't that the cutest fabric? It's different um, types of trees. It says, or, yeah, it says um, balsam fir, scott pine, um, Christmas rose, mistletoe. It is just so cute. I absolutely love this one. I like them both, but I think this one's my favorite. So I am going to have a shop update. I might try to go ahead and do that tomorrow, which is Sunday. Um, but there'll be four bags up, and then if I can get to those over there, I'll have some more. Um, so look for those later in the week. Um, I'll, what I'll do is I'll just it, uh, throw it as a piece of fuzz. Did you guys see that? It's hilarious. Um, yeah, they'll, I'll try to just update the shop as I get them finished. So there won't be one big shop update. It'll just be as I finish them. So, oh well, I'm under 10 minutes, guys. But that's good because I've got to go get ready. 
um, to go to dinner and I need to probably go walk Dottie. And I don't know if I can get her over here or not. Uh, Dottie, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You guys want to see Dottie? Come here. Okay, you'll have to forgive my messy room. There she is. Say hi, Dot Dot. Yeah, say hi. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys. Well, we're going to go and I whoops. I will talk to you guys next week. Y'all have a great week. Bye-bye.